What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Fan Club YouTube channel. I'm Will. I'm Austin. And I'm Lawson. We're going to be talking with athletes, entertainers, and creators about how they built a brand for themselves. So please make sure to like, subscribe, leave us a comment, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out. We hope you enjoy this episode. Two. What's up, guys? Hello. Hello, everybody. And we are here. Welcome to the Fan Club our uh, new podcast, the second podcast in the THG Media umbrella. Um, I'm sitting here with, this is Will, by the way. I'm sitting here with Frizz, Yelly, and Lawson. What's up, guys? And don't forget about Cuddy back there don't as well. Don't forget about the producer. Yes, the producer, Cuddy. Yeah, I'm here. Live, hot mic. <laughs> hot mic. You gave him a hot mic. So we're finally set up. Yeah, finally yeah, set up. Took us a bit. It's definitely harder than it looks to set up a podcast oh studio, goodness. which we figured out pretty quickly. It was tough. Not only just getting all the equipment, but figuring out how to actually record an episode is not as easy as it looks. Mm -mm. No, and then you got to figure out where everything's going in the room. We had to readjust the room a couple times, get a couple things that. We thought we had but we didn't so that also took a few extra days but a lot of, yeah a lot I mean, of things learned it's been probably a month of that i would say mm -hmm. and we're still not done no no we gotta get some wall decor yeah, so yes the walls are blank if you have any suggestions let us know shoot us a message so let's get into it will mm -hmm. why are we starting the fan club and what is the fan club and tell us who you are hello i'm will blake um the fan club is a going to be a podcast with a bunch of different people from creators, creator athletes, um, entertainers, and anyone who has kind of started their own brand recently and has been on similar paths as us, I would say. Um, we really want to focus on engaging people into and teaching people on how to start their own um, brand themselves and start creating content with whatever you're doing. It could be sports, music being in film, um, theater, anything, just we really want to bring out an education and kind of share our story and um, connect with other people who have done it also, who have grown a lot more than us, who are have grown less than us, just kind of really interviewing a lot of people in the creator world. So That was a great explanation. That, I could I, not have said that better. I don't know. If I was just spewing words. That's pretty good. <laughs> But yeah, I, my role for this podcast is going to be, I'll probably be on 99% of the episodes. That's the plan, unless I botch it. Um, doing a lot of reach out to different people and seeing if they want to come on, connecting with them, planning episodes, doing some research on them, and just talking them up, really. The main guy. Main guy, I You're guess. You're the main guy. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Excited. Okay. Yeah. I'm already addicted to this. Yeah, well... I feel like I all of a sudden turned into the guider of this episode, which I'm definitely not. Yeah, he's just talking. But Frizz, you go ahead. Let's move it over oh, yeah. to my co-host, Austin Friesen. We'll turn Lawson's mic off for a yeah. couple minutes. Yeah, it's uh, been a fun game so far. We already kind of explained this within our group, but it's almost like our new game days. We have a lot of preparation <laughs> to go into. We had our pregame meal of Chipotle. And uh, yeah, we just have to make sure that we're dialed in every time. And I will also be co-hosting with Will, uh, working on reach outs as well and kind of overshadowing Cuddy, making sure he's getting his jobs done, but he's done pretty well so far. So yeah, it's been a lot of fun. I can't wait. Oops. Can't wait to see where this goes. Cuddy, you'll get a chance to redeem yourself and stand up for yourself in a minute. Yeah. I'm, <laughs> I'm just waiting for my turn. Mr. Yell, welcome to the fan club. Thank you. Thank you. Uh yeah, I'm Yelly, and I'm gonna have a very feature type role here. I probably won't be on many episodes, but for me here within the group, I'm kind of the community builder. So when it comes to my time with the pod, I see myself just connecting with whoever guest is on and seeing how they grow their community around them and how they engage. But it's my first time really talking to the mic here, so. Thank you. You sound lovely. Yeah, well, you're doing you. good. What did he say? Said he's doing good. Oh, yeah, he did really good. Yeah, he's a smooth talker. Yeah, he is a smooth talker. That's why he's a community guy. Exactly. Mr. McDonald, CEO, what's yep. up? 
you don't have to use that term. That's just a joke. <laughs> Hopefully everybody knows that. Um, my name is Lawson McDonald and, uh, yeah, I think my, what I'm looking forward to most is just talking to people and other creators that have just been in social media, um, that have been kind of working the way of paving their own path. People that have tried to learn on their own, um, similar to like how we've done it. And I just want to connect with those kind of people. I want to learn from them, hear their story, hear, Kind of what they've had struggles with or what their favorite parts of it are so as someone that i guess has made a lot of content in the past and has paid a lot of attention to brand building and social media in general for the past two years just pretty much really looking forward to learning from those people that we hopefully will get to interview yeah and lawson's going to be on a lot of episodes as well oh yeah um He's very well versed in the creator economy. Um, he's always sending us articles and things to read about stuff. So he's he's kind of the main educator, I would say. Sure, sure, um, sure. So yeah, thanks for coming. Yeah, let's send it over to the man behind the camera <laughs> with the best radio voice on radio, Mr. Uh, Levi Cumore. Hello, everybody. <laughs> How are you doing over there? Um, yeah, basically, I'm Levi Cumore. I'm producing a podcast and. Just making sure everything's working right, knowing how to use it, still teaching myself a little bit. That's why I have Frizz to shadow me because he knows exactly what's going on all the time. So um, thankful right. to have you here with us, Frizz. Yeah. You're going to be a big help. Cuddy has found a newfound passion for technology, I think. Yeah. I don't know if I'd say a passion for technology, but the podcast equipment is fun to work with and it's very fun to learn about. So. You should, Let's we're gonna take have to, this to the yeah, moon. We're gonna have to. Sh we're, gonna, <laughs> we're gonna have to show a little clip of his setup back there one day. <laughs> yeah, because yeah. it is pretty cool. Yeah, this podcast is gonna have two varieties. We're gonna try and get a lot of in-person guests, but also some people are a little far away, so we're gonna get them zoomed in and get yeah. to hear their stories. Yeah, for sure. It'll be weekly episodes, so we don't want to sacrifice um, a week or an interview just because we can't get them to come here or wherever we travel to. Uh, so like Chris said, definitely looking to get better guests through zoom. Like we actually just had one, which mm -hmm. we'll save to the end if you want to listen to who that was, but it was, again, I think it was a great zoom call or Riverside, but to me it was a lot of fun and I think it worked out really good. So I'm excited that we do have the opportunity with Cuddy back there to, kind of man the wheel with a lot of our uh other person guests that we bring on yeah. i've never okay. seen cuddy dialed in so hard and this has turned out better than i ever expected so props yeah, a yeah. few snaps <laughs> yeah we had our first guest and it was actually our first episode so it went pretty well we did a few test runs we've been testing it out the last probably week or so online interviews in-person interviews we even had yelly uh get behind the computer one day and he was our practice guest he did a great job with that too yeah, so. a lot of trial runs for us so far if you can't tell because mm -hmm. we're really really good at this right yeah we're trying <laughs> to be but another thing about this podcast there's also going to be video version too on youtube and we're going to chalk up a lot of clips on tiktok for reels our instagram page is going to be buzzing as well so don't forget to hit that follow button. Cuddy, do you got the uh Cuddy will list the Instagram TikTok handles below in the description, but yeah, I'll figure out a way to get our info out there. Thanks, buddy. Yeah, you'll ask. Do me. you know our Instagram handle? Yeah, it should be something along the lines of the hockey guys. <laughs> yeah, I think so. You're missing a, <laughs> I don't know. You're missing a period after the there oh, is a, yeah. there's a hidden pyramid pyramid period in there. But I'm sure we're gonna be starting our new uh profiles with our the fan club. So fan I'm excited club. to get that going and create clips of us hanging out and our awesome, amazing guests that we have lined up. I'm excited for that. So let's get to it. Mm -hmm. So let's get to it. So for those of you who are new here, um, we are the hockey guys. We started making content about what, 2020, 2019, 2020. Yeah. 2020. We all played college hockey together up at the university of Wisconsin superior go yellow jackets mm -hmm. and uh one random day lawson decided to film a tiktok and i actually 
don't know. I, I did have TikTok at that time, but I wasn't posting or anything. I was just watching. It was pretty new still. Made a couple videos, and the hockey guys was born. Um, and two years later, we are now all in Minneapolis, Minnesota, at an office, and the dream's still going. So we're trying to take this to the next level, and that's kind of why we started this podcast as well. Just something new and more content to share with you all. Yeah, another thing to that of why it felt like a good time to start something like this was because, like Will said, when we made TikToks and everything, we started doing a lot with the NHL and we found ourselves traveling like every month. I think we've been flying to a different city every single month for the past almost a year now. Oh yeah, we know we know MSP pretty well at airports. Yes. At our airports hauled us around a few <laughs> times. So yeah, with that said, we were like I think a lot of times like podcasts can be limited by you feel like you may not be able to reach out to new guests or like finding cool people. But for us, we found that we were always surrounded by really cool people and people that were doing similar stuff to what we were, whether it's a connection through TikTok or it's actually just through a person that we meet in the city that we're traveling to. So we figured like having an also a podcast while we travel could be a really cool way where we can kind of make steps forward pretty quickly with the people that we can interview. Um, so that is a huge goal of ours is to get really cool people to talk to in person. Hopefully, big goal, but doing some of these interviews at NHL arenas using um, the resources that we're lucky to have through what we do with these teams. Uh, that'd be awesome. I kind of wish we started this as we were traveling before because the amount of conversations we've had with people that we look up to um, and people that have taught us a lot. If we were just recording all of that, we could probably have a hundred episodes out by now. Totally. Like that would have been so awesome, but we're doing it now. Um, it's super fun and exciting. And Frizz, what are you most looking forward to in this podcast? I'm looking forward to seeing how the video side of the version of the podcast does, even just from like clips and making sure that these people can like see us and interact with us almost like there's almost like a second connection there rather than just voice because obviously when you're scrolling some of the biggest podcasts in the world people only follow just for their video versions and just for those cl little clips so i'm excited to see what kind of uh action we can get out of those yeah i follow a ton of podcasts on tiktok only on tiktok like bffs i don't really listen to full version but i just love seeing them pop up on the highlights mm -hmm. so i think maybe even it would be cool if potentially people start knowing us just as the fan club too like that's something um that's a possibility i don't know we haven't talked much about that but i think that would be a good thing if it got to the point where some people find us first through this and then realize oh they're also a part of the hockey guys too yeah, well, that's another thing that was a part of our goals. We also wanted to kind of uh, explore different audiences and try and hit different maybe demographics and people that we may not have hit with our usual social media and stuff like that. So we're hoping that we get to those people and show them what we're all about. Gilly, what do you think? What are you most looking forward to? You have been a great job or have done a great job at wherever we go, talking to as many people as possible. Um that's obviously why your role is a community guy. So what are you really looking forward to and what's your plan on how to make the fan club known worldwide? Well, I think you just hit it right in the head there. And I know Frizz just brought it up too, but I'm excited to see just the wide variety of different guests that we can bring on. And obviously each guest has a different uh, story to tell. So it'd be cool to see their insights. But yeah, I, I think we have a huge potential to tap into just like many different people and that's what I'm most excited for. Yeah. And I think that uh, we're definitely learning throughout this. Um, and we're glad that you're here listening, and taking part of the journey, because if no one was listening, we probably wouldn't be doing this. I don't no. know. Would we? we? We talk a lot with no one else listening, I guess. I mean, the practice episodes we did were pretty fun <laughs> and there was nobody listening. True, this and is nobody will fun. listen to those. So maybe we just like hearing our own voices in our ears. Here's I got a question for Lawson here. Um, oh, oh boy! So <laughs> whose voice is that? 
kind of kind of explain to everybody why we didn't just call it the hockey guys podcast mm-hmm. explain why we um retitled and rebranded mm-hmm. this that's podcast. a really good question Cody. Great question good like great question thank you there. <laughs> i can't know for those of you that can't see um Cuddy is behind a computer monitor so he's just kind of a ghost out there and we just hear a voice and we cannot see him but it's good to know that he's out there <laughs> i can see him smirking right now yeah um so it was uh the reason that we wanted to call this thing the fan club versus the hockey guys there's a couple reasons for that one of them being is just that when structuring social media accounts and kind of like the brands and the way that we wanted to do it was that we wanted like we kind of said before is that if this is the fan club it has potential to reach new audiences the content and the conversation and the people are that are we are interviewing are a little bit different and it's not directly tied to what we're doing as the hockey guys on tiktok or Instagram or YouTube. So I guess when you think of the fans that we may have on the hockey guys that would love to probably hear us talking about our day to day, um, like the, maybe the stuff that goes behind the scenes as the hockey guys and everything about the hockey guys is something that we did not want this podcast to completely be. And so that fan club and calling it that to us made it clear that this was a little bit separated from what you may see on TikTok. It's It's got potential to, like we said, have a new audience, bring new people in that don't know us as the hockey guys. Um, so that, yeah, I think that's kind of a reason why we felt a name change was uh, was the right thing. And, you know, maybe, maybe it wasn't, but uh, yeah. We shall see. We shall, we see. shall see. And the other thing with like the exact name, the fan club we plan to interview people that we are truly fans of and see what they've done see what they do see what works with that for them and what doesn't and it's not just limited to hockey players Um, exactly right because we're going to be talking to different athletes i want to try to talk to some actors and actresses i don't know that just sounds super entertaining to me or musical artists um maybe we can get taylor swift on one day Maybe that's the ultimate goal. That should be an easy one. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. Just the fan club, people that we look up to and want to learn from are really who we are targeting in this. Mm-hmm. And I guess the second thing I didn't really mention was that uh, we always kind of talked about too, like the hockey guys is a, a lot of people know as a TikTok and an Instagram, um, but kind of as a business and just going into this new phase that we're in here in an office and THG Media the way we see it has potential to have brands under the umbrella, like no bad days and the fan club will mention that earlier. And I think that fits in well as something that can be under there. And if we want to be a business that kind of expands and becomes more than just uh, the name, the hockey guys and becomes something that can do a lot more than just that, then that'd be awesome. So yeah. Again, we're not professionals in this. I'm not by no means Mm-mm. know exactly what I'm doing with that decision to do it. I like to kind of get a lot of inspiration from uh, other social media brands and businesses and kind of take notes at the way they did things. We thought about this for a long time, but we'll see how it goes and we're excited about it. Yeah. So just to be clear, we're not doing this podcast just to fill this extra room in our office. um we'll leave that there perfect (laughs) we didn't know what to do with this room yeah the office has been great though i was kind of hoping for a hot tub yeah (laughs) maybe we maybe we can take all this equipment down for cuddy and we'll just move a hot tub in here instead yeah what if you had a hot tub behind the producing station yeah i'll just sit back here with all the electricity and in, in a hot tub and then and then back there cuddy will just twitch stream his own channel and brand because <laughs> that's a popular thing amongst amongst uh twitch streamers the hot tub guy <laughs> there we go got ourselves a hot tub guy what else are we looking forward to we touched the we touched the main points but yeah. and we're also we're going to learn throughout the process um we're going to kind of see what we go down and what avenue we go down um 
yeah, it's just, it's an exciting time and we're all excited to sit here and learn and be better at this than, like, it's, like we said, this is our maybe fifth time behind the microphone. Mm-hmm. First time yeah. recording. I think the one thing that we didn't say of what we're looking forward to is what I'm looking forward to. Someone that doesn't speak a lot of words on a weekly basis because um, just more of an introverted person, just to build skills up skills up sorry of interviewing people and talking and having like the confidence i guess to grab a mic and talk to somebody in person probably something that's gonna come in handy five years down the road no matter what we're doing Mm -hmm. yeah we're gonna have a big debut actually in january we're doing a live show for a little uh event of some sort i think lawson knows some more details hosting a panel yeah we're ready we ready. yeah one month in we're gonna ready have our first live that's a month from today a month from today yeah in january so again just pushing the limits and we've always been a group of guys that are about that we just want to capitalize on opportunities we have been lucky enough to have the ball rolling to do what we've done so far and making this and seeing where that takes us and just jumping on Anything that we possibly can is another one of those things. Um, so far, that's worked out well for us. And mm-hmm. yeah, I think paving our path with this can be something pretty cool too. Yeah, I'm excited to kind of see a, a mix and match of all of us in our roles in this show because, um, I mean, say someone has a guest that they've known for a long time and they're coming in, obviously they're going to be taking a lead on the episode. Um, it's going to be fun to see how we all evolve in our different ways and continue to grow and hopefully get really good at it. Mm-hmm. That'll be fun. Yeah. It'll be really fun. I think uh, one other thing I was going to touch on when Frizz was talking about clips and, and the extra content that we'll be making for this brand is that we do want this to be a big focus on short form content. So we're planning on playing we're planning on making it really fun with the guests that we have. Like we're planning on having, whether we do get people in person to make TikToks with them, to have some kind of mini game at the end where we have those fun little challenges or whatever it may be. Um, as well as having a brand too, that can highlight um, just TikTok content in general that is maybe not, I wouldn't probably say 50%, but, you're, if you go to our TikTok page in probably a month or two, you're going to see that this brand is going to have a lot of personality to it within the hosts and the people that are running it. Um, and it's going to be a lot of fun, I mm-hmm. should say. Yeah. Yeah. This fan club is going to be fun. Yeah. Fun. People fun should, club. Fun and entertaining and educational. True. Just a jack of all trades. <laughs> well, it's going to be a good time. Um, so obviously with... Um, this new found love of podcasting that we have, at least we think we have, um, where in, I wasn't going to, I didn't tell you guys I was going to ask this. Where in five years do you see the fan club pod? Well, personally, I see it in a much larger studio than this <laughs> and some nice background decor. We're going to have maybe even a double producer Cuddy, Cuddy might even be on full time just on the main podcast, but I would love it to be something that people go to to find entertainment, but also can learn a few things. Here's some great, unique stories from each guest that comes on. Maybe even find a passion to start doing it themselves. Yeah, that's a that is a definitely a main thing is having it in five years where maybe we're getting messages from other athletes and kids that have watched and followed this brand maybe for a few years and been like, Hey, like you guys, what you did here, your interviews, the people that you brought on kind of made me start Mm -hmm. something like a TikTok page or a brand themselves, whether clothing, whatever it may be, that would be really cool. Um, yeah, maybe like, uh, doing cool things like spitting chiclets is even doing right now, how they have a, huge fan base in just the hockey world, but they have opportunity to do a lot of cool things like that brand itself when they're traveling and they're doing, you know, live shows. I would just love to do a ton of live events, be part of just 
cool stuff. Yeah, for sure. Yelly, what do you think? What do you got, Yelly? Five years. Well, you guys kind of touched on a lot of the stuff that I was thinking of, but I would love to make this work where you're traveling like internationally, like beyond just traveling for the stuff we've done to this point, whether it's through TikToks and whatnot. I think it'd be it'd be pretty amazing to aspire and travel internationally solely for a podcast. Mm-hmm. It'd be super cool. I mean, I want this in five years. I would love if this is my full time job. Be a pretty good that job. That sounds pretty cool, huh? We could be sitting on the same couch we started on. That was my, uh, it's always been my goal. I've never wanted to have a regular job. Mm -mm. So this would help it out, help that goal out quite a bit. And I could attest to what Frizz just said. He has said that even before our whole TikTok page has started. From day one that I knew this guy, (laughs) he said that he's going to have an abnormal job, but it's going to be something cool. So you're going to change the world. I remember actually him coming up to me in the Marriott one night and uh, it might've been like two, three, four, five months into the hockey guys. Maybe when we were like 500,000 followers, he said to me, he goes, this is what I've wanted all my life. <laughs> That's yeah, a good he's quote. Not wrong. I've always, <laughs> always wanted to do something like this. I never knew how it was going to happen. And luckily these guys helped me get there. And so now we want to keep it going to make it uh, reality. And I looked back at him. I said, me too me yeah but actually i a light bulb kind of went off when you said uh what did you say (laughs) full 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 time job job. oh okay it was about no it was about uh when you're talking about the um the podcast in five years and traveling international and stuff um we actually had a great guest on today that we're gonna say at the end of this um that will be in the episode next week but he said that how what his brand has always been about is like his story and what they're doing and everything like that i think it'd be really really cool for this to take us places through and i think like podcasting has that ability to kind of open doors that just having a tiktok account doesn't like you have the ability to collab and meet more people people are more receptive to doing interviews with you and um, versus like making a TikTok. I think looking at like what Nelk and Full Send did is that they go places to like Dubai and like crazy places to interview people. And Nelk and their YouTube channel kind of revolves around that now. And back to the guest of what he said of having a story, I think the hockey guys too could be involved of like whatever we do here, if it starts to get grow and become something that, story of what we're doing on the hockey guys could then mimic that too like that's the following along of what we're doing with with this which would be really cool to say like we can travel somewhere and the hockey guys content kind of revolves around us like you know same thing that we do now but just more of a storyline along yeah so if you guys want to help us get there and see that happen don't forget to hit that follow (laughs) download subscribe button we have uh we have big big uh dreams here Mm -hmm. i i think in five years if we were listening to this episode, it'd be pretty, pretty dang cool to say that we're still going. Still oh yeah, going just the just the fact that we're going, still going. Here's would be whatever we're doing, we're still going. Whatever that means, it's probably a good thing. Yeah, if we can have a podcast for five years, I think anybody is doing something right. We're still hanging out in five years. That sounds like a pretty good yes. life. Every Monday, that's the, that's the plan to release our podcast. By yeah, by so correct. let's get into those details. Mondays, we plan to release in the mornings. Yeah, and uh, for the video content, I'm sure that'll be probably scattered throughout the week, maybe leading up to the podcast, some on the debut as well. Mm -hmm. Then I said we're going to have a pretty fun Instagram, lots of interactive stuff, hearing what you guys have to say, maybe get some fans to message in, all that kind of stuff. Maybe they can even ask our guest questions themselves. Yeah, we're going to implement a lot of people, um, a lot of engagement. Please send us as many questions as you want. We love seeing the inboxes full of messages and questions and feedback. Um, and also something that would be helpful is who do you want to hear from? Who do you want to hear about? Um, there's plenty. Obviously, everyone has their own fan club that they're a part of. Um, so we want to hear who you like to hear about, who you've been learning from. And 
we'll reach out to him. Yeah, I guess knowing kind of the lines that we're trying to work in, will give us the maybe give us five guess possibilities for reference for the people listening or watching, and tell we can introduce who we had on, who's going to be in next week's episode. But that'll just kind of help them if they're giving suggestions of. Mm-hmm. Maybe you're lost or confused. Like this is who we have in mind, at least of coming on. So, show five people off our list that you hope to have on. Um, besides Taylor Swift, um, I would say like people in the space of Josh Richards. Mm-hmm. I think he'd be very cool. He's we'd have to work our way up to that one. Mm-hmm. Um, we got old time hockey. Old time hockey. We like. He's a friend of. THG, so we'll definitely get him on. Uh, who else is there? I just helped make a list. I'll, I'll add here yeah. uh, someone that's a little different than what they've said so far. Um, I got a younger brother, and he was telling me that he would like to see like John B. from the Guggen Squad. So hmm. that's something that when I asked my brother, like, who do you want to hear? And that's like first person he said. Yeah, and good, good golf. Good, good golf. Yep. Someone who is a hockey player. I know we said we weren't going to focus all our energy on hockey players, but someone who's making a brand for themselves and a name for themselves, young Trevor Zegris out in Mm -hmm. Anaheim. Um, So athletes like that who are really making a name for themselves off of the ice. Uh, We're we're probably not going to ask him about how he felt in the middle of the season or how his injury was or anything like that. We're going to ask him about what it was like to be on the cover of NHL 23 or what he's been up to in the summertime because He's working and he's partnering with brands and things like that where people who are really trying to make their own name a brand um, and set themselves up for life after their sport too. Mm -hmm. Because, I mean, we only made it to D3 hockey, so there's only so much we can relate to on that end. That's true. We don't don't really want to talk about hockey. (laughs) But, no, I think uh, just the fact that we are going to be traveling to – for hockey a lot with the hockey guys um, going to different events. We've gone to Winter Classic that we just went to. Um, and so I think that will just itself bring maybe more of a hockey audience mm-hmm. naturally of our the way our network is. But yeah, just to be clear, that's uh, the sky's the limit. Yeah. We, we want to talk about life. We want to talk about business, um, creativity, and other people's passions. So we can learn from them and you can learn from them. All right. Now share who next week's guest is going to be. Next week's guest is, we've been a fan of him for a long time. I would say all of us, we've all been following him. Um, yeah, a couple of years and he's really a, he really paved the way for athletes on TikTok. Um, he's our age as well. Uh, he is in. He's a baseball player for our new favorite baseball team, the Savannah Bananas. Mr. Jackson Olson. Um, I'm sure you have all seen him on TikTok, and yeah, he was a all. lot of fun. He's, he's a great a guy. Um, great episode, and he actually taught us a lot in the short amount of time we talked to him. And I'm excited to meet him in person one day. But Jackson Olson will be next week. So be sure to check that out because it was really good. We were really excited about it. So. Thank you, Jackson. Did you want to say anything, Yelly? I was going to say, uh, just to end off, I was just going to ask you guys, scale of 1 to 10 on the rust, the rustiness for first interview, first podcast that we ever filmed, how did you feel? Well, I'm going to jump in real quick. This is, so we're actually filming this after we filmed the first interview. And this is our first episode technically yes this is our trailer episode our pilot mm-hmm. right that's the word pilot and for some reason i was more nervous talking to him in this one really yeah i don't know why yeah i felt this one's been a little bit harder to go because we we kind of talked about before we started this that we were going to make the guests the priority and hear mm-hmm. their stories their side of things so talking to each other right now is was a little bit tougher for me personally but i, yeah. I just also thought that interview went way better than we'd hoped yeah so that i don't worked out i don't think we like talking about ourselves really either so it makes it tough okay well what's, it's the, been fine. what's the rust scale the rust scale i don't know i i'm gonna give myself just a five out of ten i'm gonna flatline to start off can't can go up and can go yeah. down too early to tell I'll, I'll give it a six 
I was going to say four. Mm, okay. Humble, humble. So don't worry, folks. Oops. Cut. <laughs> so don't worry, folks. The next few episodes are going to be a lot more entertaining. We just wanted <laughs> to give you our backstory. My turn, right? Yeah, go ahead. Well, this is my first time. I wasn't part of the uh, the first, I guess, guest that they had on earlier, but... Yeah, I was I was a little nervous too, and I, I'm wearing a sweatshirt right now, and I am leaking, <laughs> leaking right now. But it I don't know. It, it, it is uh, it's a lot different, I think, talking in a mic. But mm-hmm. I don't know. We all kind of brought it up at some point. It's uh, we're learning as it goes. You know, it's no one's good at it right away. So that's mm-hmm. why that's that's the ultimate test. What are you gonna give yourself? What was the lowest score? One. No, it, I'll give you gave yourself a four. I'll give like a three nine. Oh, I thought you did great. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. You got the same mistake. No. And I didn't have to hold the mic either. I just kept getting it past me by Lawson. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. perfect. I well, sit back. I think that concludes our intro pilot episode. Um, thank you so much for listening, and we're excited to take you along this new journey. Any last words, guys? I'd say it's going to be a lot of fun, only up from here. And. Don't forget to follow along. <laughs> yep. Agreed. Super Nothing pumped. Else. We touched on it all. And uh, I think we're going to end. I think we're going to go with this tagline. Welcome to the fan club. Perhaps I, I was just going to say that exact phrase. Good job. Welcome to the fan club, everybody. Welcome to the fan club. You're now all in the fan club, especially if you made it this far into the episode. Yes. 100%. We appreciate you, and we will talk to you next week. Cuddy, sign us off. Signing off, THG Fan Club. (laughs) (laughs) Love it. See you, everybody.